Hello everyone, dear friends. My name is Adishniv and I am seem to be on some kind of abandoned site right now. It's even snowing. And if you haven't realized just of cartoon cat and cartoon dogs chase. You guys, last episode was released a long time ago, but you asked so much in the comments to make a sequel. Well, for certain reasons, we couldn't continue filming the series for quite a while, but now it's all coming back, you know. And as you may recall, I was kidnapped by the cartoon dog in the last episode. Man, my whole body hurts so bad, and I was in different clothes back then. He must have changed my clothes as well. Apparently, I've been dragged far away. Just think about how long I'd been held hostage here. Just look, it even started snowing outside. Just look, there is real snow outside. Let's take a look around and see just exactly where we are because this location right here is very, very familiar to me. It's like a pipe of some kind. Oh, the ceiling's about to collapse, isn't it? Look, you guys, it's a centipede right here. No way, you guys. Just remember, we should not touch any insects. They're living beings as well, yeah. Except for mosquitoes. Mosquitoes and flies are just the worst. All right. There's obviously been some kind of a fight in here. I mean, how else do you to explain someone using a hand or something to smash through a door like this? <sighs> what the hell was that? Where was I dragged? <sighs> way it's kind of strange that I'm not tied up or anything. Maybe it's some kind of a trap arranged by Cartoon Dog, you know? And he's probably just toying with me here. Because, well, just think about it. He could have tied me up or killed me or eaten me already, but he did not do any of those things because it, it is really unclear why, you know what I mean? All right, let's keep going. All right, just, just look. I think that somebody's left their bag right in here, you guys. It's some kind of a mesh bag. Look, it's probably cartoon dog sausages. Well, well, I'm not eating it. You guys, there's a filling meat dinner. And this is probably meant for a dog food. So I'm sure that this is cartoon dogs, you guys. But he couldn't go to the store and buy it himself, right? Someone must be bringing it here all the time for him. Just look, there's even some more sausages here. All right, I guess I'll take this. Uh, and there's also some stuff on the couch here. I don't like to read them. I really don't, but I'm gonna need some food for myself while I'm out there. I don't know when I'm gonna be eating the next time, you know? Right? Oh, you guys! Oh, I think I know what this place is! This is the camp where the whole thing started! It's where we came with Sopic and Bruno, and where Bruno was kidnapped! I found Sopic then, and here is the tower in the shore! And then Bruno was turned into Cartoon Cat, so I guess that now I am in the same camp! <sighs> where this whole story started! But why did Cartoon Dog even bring me back here? <laughs> <laughs> Sapphic. We're almost, almost reached the city. Hey, what the heck? Be careful. Slow down, man. Dude, let's get outside. I'm getting sick of your driving. Yeah. Sapphic, here's the thing. I'm a little lost. Do you know where should we go from here? Hey, why don't you just ask this cartoon cat of yours for direction? Uh, you know, my hair kind of hurts. What's wrong with it, huh? Look at this. This is really weird, guys. Look at his hair. It's turning red. Did he just come out with his hair like that? Guys! I guess I'm still going through a mutation. Uh, you've got the genes all intertwined there. That's Cartoon Cat messing with your DNA. <laughs> William Bruno, red hair is a common thing when mutating goes. It's a sign of crossbreeding of a regular human with a monster. In your case, it's me, Cartoon Cat. Oh, I still, oh, I still feel it. Yeah, I, I feel it. I can feel. Uh, I, I can feel someone. I feel someone's presence. Just a regular person, you won't understand. I can really feel someone's in my house right now. That's right, someone has entered my house at this moment. Cartoon dog. No, that punk stinks differently. It's more like your buddy, Artem Arshnev. He is at my house right now, at the camp. The one where I grew up and spent my entire felon childhood, do you remember? So why don't we go there now? That's where I first possessed Bruno. Maybe that's why Cartoon Dog brought Arshnev in there too. We gotta save them, Artyom. Yeah. I, I know where the camp is. We gotta go there right now. Right, we cannot waste another minute. I'm driving. 
Wait, wait, maybe we should bandage my leg first. That's what we stopped in the first place. Eh. Okay, I've got one bandage that should help you. All right. Yeah. 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 Look, Sathic, this isn't just some ordinary bandage you buy at your pharmacies, you know. It's actually an SCP Foundation product. Here's the thing about this little bandage. It heals almost any physical wounds in literally minutes. Now, so we're gonna wrap your leg now. Hey, William Bruno, can you take it from here? I cannot open this package with my little paws. <laughs> Well, okay, Cartoon Cat. You know what he was talking about? Look, I kind of was in the dark, but I could vaguely hear everything's been said here. This bandage should save you now, right? I just really hope that he didn't lie about it, and I won't turn into some kind of monster after this. All right, let's put it on. Sure. Sappy, hold on. Right over here, the knee. Yeah. These knees are always a problem. Man, thanks so much, you guys. I'm so grateful for charging up the bandage with your like buttons. That's it. Should be healed in a few minutes, I think. Uh, it's not bothering me at all. It feels kind of normal. I hope it heals up. Why don't you drive then? And I'll look for information on Cartoon Dog on the internet. Maybe there's something useful there, huh? See you at the camp. Separate. We're getting close. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I know my house like the back of my hand. And I'm pretty sure Artem is here somewhere as well. well. I don't feel a thing. Tell me, why do you even need this Artem? Why don't we just go home without him, huh? Artem is my friend, and he definitely needs to be found. If William Bruno was here, he would totally agree with me. What is a friend? Well, I guess you wouldn't know that. You'll find out someday. Now tell me, where is it? Where does the smell go? Which way is it? Right over there? I'll get my ears, my locators tuned up. <laughs> Sure you're okay? There's nothing wrong with me, Sapphic. Why did you fall down then? Something unusual is going on here. Strangers in my house. Look, the smell is coming from this house. We can check in there. Just gotta be careful. Look, there's no footprints. I don't think anyone's ever been over here. This house has a back door, and the darkest forces only enter through it. So that's probably where they went in. All right, let's go over there then. It is three stories high. Do you know what floor it's on? So do I look like a dog to you? I just smell the arsh, 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 arsh. Well, our dome. We'll figure out which floor it is later. All right. Okay, come on, keep it up. All right, let's go. Be careful, there are traps all around here. I fell into one of those ones. Yeah. Yeah. wrong with you? Something's wrong. Someone very unfamiliar is in my home now. I just don't know who's that. Let's go sweep the second floor. Come on, I'm not gonna scratch you. It really stinks in here. Well, not our job. This whole place smells bad. Well, it's your house. It doesn't smell like me. I cannot smell myself, but as for strangers... <laughs> Those are sausages. Someone must have dropped it here. Yeah, yeah. Ah, there's some information in there. Come on, Sathic. Look through that bag here. All right, I'm on it. Oh, look, there's dog food here. There's more sausages. Different kinds of it, too. Sathic, I can feel the letters in there. There's also a note here. Scientists use these letters all the time. Hold on, Cartoon Cat. What? Well, that's what it says. My Rexy told me everything. Now I know how he became like that, and I know what kind of people tortured him. The stupid SCP Foundation. I'm gonna find all of those rascals. I swear, Rexy, you'll be safe, and I shouldn't have talked to those bloggers either. I just didn't realize they were after you too. Poor, poor Rex. It doesn't make any sense, you guys. Rexy? Do you know this Rexy? Of course I do. Actually, you know him too. That's Cartoon Dog. Well, he was dead before those scientists did crazy things to him. Man, it's probably true. It's a note from his owner, lady. So apparently it's his food, too. All this dog. But it also smells <sighs> like Arish now. What do you mean, Arish now? I don't know how's that. Is that what that old lady was doing here? Is that a reach now? He must have confused the trails. It wasn't Arish now, but he touched this, too. I can really smell Arsnip now. He's nearby. He's somewhere in this camp now, sadly. Where? Oh, that's what I wrote. When you came looking for me, but I didn't invite you here. 
Look, it was right here, maybe a little further away. I can't remember which room it was exactly. So tell me, did you possess William Bruno, or did he possess you somehow? <laughs> what? Sapphic, <laughs> let's go find your friend. Don't get distracted by this miserable Bruno stuff. Can you sense anyone here? <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cartoon Cat, hey, can you stop glitching, please? We're into some serious stuff in here. Finally. William Bruno, do you know where we are and what's going on? Look, all, all I see is some kind of a white noise before my eyes. Cartoon Cat, what's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, Bruno. It's not easy for me to keep things under control, too. You really all messed up in there. Is it one or the other? I can't decide who's at the helm here. Seven. What? Somewhere around here, quite close by, is Cartoon Dog. We have to get out of here, Seven. Let's go. So maybe that's where our original is, too. Let's go, Seven. Are you sure about it? Come on. I'm not getting. We gotta go. Okay. Just tell me where to go. Through the back door. In and out, in and out. <laughs> Over here, Sapphic! You guys, this is what I have to trust in this crazy situation? With some crazy cat? I feel... Hey! Hey! Sapphic! <laughs> Artyom is in the former canteen. I used to eat there as a kid, but there was a cat here. They used to borrow milk for me there. Are you sure about this? Yeah! Maybe your cat sense is out of place. Would it be somewhere else? No! I can smell milk and then guys flash and I'm also bothered by cartoons dog presence on my property. Well, that's really strange. All right, let's go to the canteen. Come on, I'll show you the way. It's right over there. William Bruno. <gasps> yeah. Why don't you call Cartoon Cat? I mean, we're kind of lost here already. Look, it's that tower, remember? Uh-huh, but let's not go inside of there. There's also a cartoon cat totem. Check it out. Are you sure it's the right place for us to go in? Yeah. Man, this place is really dangerous. Maybe Cartoon Cat can tell us something about the graffiti. I was just about to ask him. Why is he leaving all these cave paintings? Come on. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, that's you. I mean, this is my image. Oh, yeah? But who painted it? Uh, I don't know. I thought it was some of your fans, or maybe even you. No, I don't ever draw. Look, this graffiti's been here for a long time. We saw this image a long time ago, back when we were first hunting for you. We saw it and we thought that maybe it was left here for security reasons or something. Maybe to warn everyone that it's your home. I know who left it. We were still in school back then. Cartoon Dog always made fun of me and drew stupid drawings. So you think it's him? I know it's him. This place reeks of that dog. He was here just a little while ago. All right, we gotta stop wasting time chatting. Just tell me how to get to the canteen. Fine, let's go, let's go. Because William Bruno and I got lost and came straight to this tower. Come on in, Sapphic. Why me first? You're supposed to be the fighter here. Well, I can go first, but I'll get all the credit afterwards. You really care so much about the credit? Sure, it's all about the praise. Come on, all I need is on being told how awesome I am. <laughs> I sneeze, sorry, let's go. No, well, if that's the case, you're the best and you're the strongest. <laughs> wow, thank you, Sapphic. Now we'll find Artem and his glasses. Yeah, those are his glasses, exactly. What's your blood on them? Uh, stained a little bit, yeah. It looks like her tomb is gone. Well, Sapphic, he's surely not in here. Come on, if I can still smell him, that means he's still alive. So don't worry, Sapphic. How are you so sure? Well, we cannot reach him at this point, but I'm sure we'll find him soon enough. Help me! Somebody please help! That's our cue! Anybody! That's our cue! Help! 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 What are you waiting for? We have to go and see Let's go, let's move, Zapphic. Hurry up, come on. Our job, we're on our way! Let's go! Our job! Cartoon dog! You guys help me! You can be all tied up! Well, hello there, cat and cat! Do you think I'm afraid of you, Cartoon Dog? 
Actually, I do afraid of him a little bit, but just don't tell him that, subscribers! Get ready to back to your booth! Yeah! Hey, you filthy human! Get out of here now! This is a battle between me and Cat and Cat! Your friend was a perfect bite! Uh, it turns out I've been beat the whole time now, huh? This apple gonna get you! Stand on you! Okay, I got it. Cartoon Cat, you're the strongest. You'll beat him easily. Just, just win this battle, please. I'm not sure that I have the strength for that, but I'll buy you some time to save your friend. I think I'm starting to understand what friendship is. Yeah. We believe in you. Let's go. Our turn, our turn, our turn. Come on, let's get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Something go ahead and untie me. Nancy, you really know how to tie the knots. We don't stand a chance. We can't even think of you know to do Alright, Cat and Cat, you think you can handle me? What's there to think about, Donnie? Yeah, I already know I've always been better than you. You guys, for the first time ever, we can actually witness how Cartoon Cat fights with Cartoon Dog, and we even got it on camera. It's easier to him. The main thing is we don't get caught up in their fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, just look at the way the dog hits him. Yeah, that's it. Take that. Oh man, would you learn to do that? Oh, you! Yeah! Cool! That was awesome! Come on, Cartoon Kit! Bruno, let's go! Yeah! Yeah! Look, why don't we cut all this nonsense and have a normal discussion? Why are you doing all this, Cartoon Dog, huh? Yeah! I will destroy you and be the stronger than all left. Yeah, all right, Cartoon Dog. No more games. Uh, now, I'm going to show you some real power here. Uh, <laughs> How about that, huh? Did you think you could beat me? Uh, <laughs> and the most powerful SCP monster in all the fonts. You better get out of here while you still have the. Is he going to strangle him now? I hope not. Or two. What do we do? We are now. Stop it! Stop it! No! <coughs> Come on, Sonic, get it off! Are you alive? What happened after Cartoon Dog did that thing to us? My head hurts like crazy, Artyom! Oh, no. Cartoon Dog! Hello everybody, dear friends, Ari Schniff is here with you and with me today... William Bruno and Sathic 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. yeah! You guys, anyway, today we went to an abandoned village in such a rainy weather. Our goal is to film, well, at least try to film the real rake from a drone. Look, there's an abandoned village and the weather is really scary. Just look at these drops, it's raining heavily. Oh, Sathic got a message! From an old friend of mine, my uncle, the Ford! Hey, be sure to record this stuff right here. Here you guys, see those abandoned houses here. My grandmother used to live right here 20 years ago. And so did my uncle, the forester. And until just recently, my uncle, the forester, sent me a message that there was a rake scene in this village. Folks, well, the one my grandmother had left 20 years ago. It's a real deal, guys. Are you sure it's real, Rake? I mean, well, that old dude, the forester, does he know a thing about SCP creatures, huh? Look, I don't know how he came to this conclusion. And why did he contact us in the first place? I mean, how did he know that we were even going to do well, this? Well, he probably saw our investigations on the internet. It may be so, but we have to meet him anyway. You guys, what I want to tell you guys is that make sure you get 100,000 likes under this video if you want more videos about scary creatures creatures. Don't be lazy and get your likes in right now. Guys, just look at this. I was literally running around here in my childhood. I still remember my grandmother calling me in for dinner. Look, even the birds fly away from here.
here. You can see it. You can see it on the camera. The birds are really flying hey away. Guys, this isn't good. It's bad Listen. omen. And, and why did your grandmother leave? Well, look. I think having a hut in the countryside is kind of cool. Oh, you know, I don't remember everything in detail, of course, but when I was a kid, it was just that everybody started moving away, as I remember, like, kind of gradually. Mostly because the pets and the people, they started to go missing. Well, maybe they started disappearing because they were actually leaving? No, 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 no. They were missing, like, for real. Like, gone without a trace. Let's get a move on, you guys. Guys, from what I remember, it was on the second floor of this building right here. I remember there was two little girls from this apartment who had gone missing when they were coming home from school at night. And shortly after, other people started to go missing. And their pets, too. Hey, take a picture. Take a picture of how it's all ruined. What a mess. Of course, my grandmother told me about it. I don't know. For me, it was just some ordinary horror stories. There was also some kind of monster here, and people saw it, but only the most desperate ones. Look at the snake that I just caught Arto! here! Arto! Arto! Uh, uh, uh. uh, it's just a hose. Put that thing down! That's where uh. everyone pooped! Arto! Arto, it's not the perfect time for your jokes, all right? We're about to find Ray. Yeah? Anyway, guys, well, it's probably not just some scary story anymore. We need to find the forester's house. He said there's an entrance around here somewhere. But... Look at this! Everything here is just ruined! Let me show you guys here. Look, it's a complete wreck! Just a complete mess, you know? Something could just fall out of your head, you guys! Right in your head! Just think of the risks that we are taking, you guys! When we're making all of these videos for you! Every single time we're trying really hard for you! And so if you do like what we're doing, make sure you subscribe to the channel! Because if all of this wreck falls down on me, I won't be able to shoot any more of these videos for you! So go! Go ahead, you guys, and subscribe. Rather convincing, huh? Let's do it. Artem, how about you get out of here before it all comes down on your head? Anyway, why don't I just go inside and see if I can dig up anything interesting? And you can go on towards that house. I think that there are some other houses over there, too. Okay, deal? Yeah, deal. deal. Okay, Sepe, let's go find something. Maybe we'll finally meet this forester. Are you sure he even lives here? Yeah, no doubt about it. Dude, this place seems to be a wreck, but he couldn't have fooled me. He's my uncle, the forester. Man, this is one heck of a place, guys. I can't believe that he lives here. Maybe his house is like five kilometers away from here. There's something going on right over there on the second floor. As if there's actually something in there. Maybe someone could be living there. <gasps> William Bruno, look at this. SCP security protection. Oh, man. Guys, that's Rake! Apparently, the forester wasn't lying! That means Rake is somewhere around here! There are even warning signs, just like on the minefield! Yeah, guys, and it's also ripe bread! Man, that means it's really dangerous! Listen, we left our town all alone out there! Why don't we go check on him and see how he's doing? And let's show him the sign! Come on, let's do it! I mean, we're the only ones here anyway! Who else may need that sign? Guys, where have you been? Uncle Forrester, why are the only two of you? Well, there's also our two Marishnev, and he's uh, right over there. Come on, come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Heave here after me. Get him on for me. Do you really live here? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Artyom! 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 Just look what I found right here about this rake! It even says it's dangerous to even look at him! And there's a picture of rake! Oh, man! We have one just like it, but it's red! Yeah! It's been so long since I've seen my uncle, the forester! Wow! Whoa, there's even a passage! Stay behind me! Guys, don't rally there! You guys got a hell of a mansion here! Come on, you guys, get in! Keep going, come on, let's go! I had no idea that there would be such a cool apartment inside of these wrecks, you know? Come on, stop it, come on! Whoa! That's a hell of a thing! I thought it was gonna be total shambles! Hey, 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 shoes, shoes, take it off! Shoes, take it off, alright! Listen, how did you even manage to get all of this set up like this? I had to. I mean, what else could I- No way! We saw those signs at the entrance to the building that said watch out for rake, danger, warning, hazard! Seen it right Well, I made them. Are you the one putting up all of the- all of these signs? Well, people need to be warned. You guys, if you want to see a sign like this, then don't come to this area because, well, who knows what kinds of monsters are living here. Yeah, man, Uncle Forrester, you got such a cozy apartment here and it's all warm and bright. 
right. And what's this? These are candles. I thought they were just light bulbs. Come and make yourself comfortable. Take a look around. And in the meantime, I'll go make some tea. All right. Uh, can I get two teaspoons of sugar, please? If there are candles there, isn't there also a TV, Uncle Forrester? Yes, there's a TV set. Only there's no electricity. So it's just hanging. You know, it's kind of beautiful. You guys all know that my grandmother also has a carpet hanging on the wall. And really, I don't understand why does it have to be on the wall. It's a background, too, apparently. Well, you can hook up a PlayStation here. But there's no electricity, man. Hey, maybe it could also work on candles? We could run an extension cord from our house. You mean 50 kilometers of cord pulling? There's even an air freshener without the actual filler. Just a piece of plastic. You guys, he's probably off somewhere making tea or something. We will be sure to question him about the rake. Because he's probably one of the only people who's seen it and tried to catch it, you guys, right? Sure. Yeah. And there's more. He somehow managed to survive the encounter with this creature. He must know something. Careful, careful, or tell me you'll break it. Don't touch it. Dang it. Uncle Forrester will be scolding us. He has these sockets where you can even stick your fingers in, but there's no electricity there anyway. Ah! Oh, are you being so scary? I tested how you would act in a situation if Rake attacked well, you. I'll just be scared dead. We should ask the Forrester how he defends himself against Rake. I don't know. Maybe he's got something maybe there. Maybe he's got a gun. Maybe he does. Yeah, anything is possible. All right, guys. Get your sandwiches. Here's some tea. Come on. Take it, guys. Oh, thank you, Uncle Forrester. Thanks a lot. Look, can I have that a, a, a uh, tea, tea bag? Yeah, I want to make myself a stronger one. So you know? uh, what about this one, the rig? Tell us more, please. All right, guys. I'll turn on the kerosene lighter and come back, and then I'll tell you all about it. Well, what's the kerosene lighter? There's gasoline and there's kerosene. He must have a plane. I'm kind of afraid these kerosene fueled cylinders, you know? I hope it's safe and it won't explode in there. Well, everything seems quiet around here. So what do you want to know about Ray? How did you even know about it? And why are you still here? Isn't it, like, way too dangerous to live here? And how did you end up in a place like this? We were, like, entering some basement on the first floor, and here's just... And like everything else around here is ruined, like the whole village. Is there any chance of catching this rake guy? Well, I'll tell you all this in order. It's okay to live here, but of course you have to make it all work out of yourself. I'm not some kind of animal, you know? In fact, I've lived in this village my entire life. I was born here, started here, started a family here, and only when I went into the army and did my time there, I got in the secret troops to the SCP. This is called Foundation. When I was young, frankly, I wasn't really interested in what this SCP did. Well, they were just researching some kind of creatures. We were searching for them, studying them. But you know, when I was there for quite a long time, I realized that the more I learn about these creatures, the more we study them, the more trouble I bring upon myself, my relatives, my beloved ones. So it was all interconnected. So to speak, everything happened for a reason. I was once on duty in this sacred service, and I was sleeping through some files, just had nothing better to do, you know, looking for different cases there about monsters and whatnot. It was rather interesting. Well, I came across an interesting case, the rake case. It also called the rake man. And what did it turn out to be, you could ask? This is particular rake was caught right in our village. Right here, where we are now. Well, not exactly here, but it's within this area, yeah. I mean, somewhere in these woods, in this region. And what I also understood from this case is that he was first spotted in 1942. That year, some guy ran away from the army deserted and during wartime it was considered a severe crime so there was no way for him to show his face around was this during world war ii huh ain't that right sure yeah yeah that's about then it all started we just had an incident the other day you guys and you wouldn't believe yeah, it at yeah, all yeah yeah artem got into some serious trouble that time artem and i went into my grandfather's office and artem started going crazy in there and then it all started happening well you gotta see that for yourself so so yeah What's what about what about that Ray guy? Well, I'm retired now. As for him, he escaped. I get a message about it. He's somewhere around here in the case parts of woods. That's why the SCP Foundation is out looking for him. But you can't face him all alone. That's why you are here today. You guys, we gotta figure out how to catch this rake. In a hundred years, SCP Foundation didn't manage, and the three of us are supposed to do it. Of course, we're the team. Well, basically, you're right. <sighs> You guys, why did you not wait for me to come out? Yeah, we went out with Safik to check if that Ray guy was around here somewhere. Oh, guys, the weather's just terrible here, you know? Just look at Artem's glasses. All right, guys, we got to get the drone up there running now, okay? We just need to get to the car since it's raining. The drone may fall, but the main thing is for us to get at least some footage. 
Otherwise, the video was going to be called My Drone Didn't Get a Shot of Rake. Don't worry, we'll get the drone footage for sure. Look, I gotta tell you, the weather, of course, is not very good to fly a drone. Okay? Guys, guys, what is this you have there? Is this a red subscribe button? It attracts him! Are you trying to tell us right now that this red subscribe button attracts the rake and he can even attack your house? I'll say even more, he's already around here somewhere. Guys, come on, your support is urgently needed here. You guys, please scroll down, go below this video and click on this button right here. Make it gray, you guys. Go ahead and do it, you guys. So you also have a timer right here in the corner, please. See, the timer here goes five, four, three, three two, two, one. Whoa. 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 Oh, it's gray now. Nicely Whoa. done. Thanks Whoa. so much to you guys. You guys saved us. You guys, this gray button will now be like a charm of a sort, and Rake will never come near you again. And if he does, you'll smack him with it. I prepared the whistles for you. This is a special secret design, but you should... Wait! Only in exceptional cases. You guys, look right here. There's even an SCP badge on this whistle. So you're saying I should just take it and... Wait! I'm sorry, but if someone attacks Agent us... Agent 256 here, what happened? Then? No, 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 no. That was a false alarm. Pull back. There was already an SCP fighter checking for us. So yes, if we need help or something, and if someone grabs us, we can always blow that whistle, and they'll come running to our rescue. Guys, let's put them in our pockets. We might need them later. Let's go, then. Let's get the drone up and scout the area. Yeah, time to sit loose. Come on, guys. So we'll launch the drone, and everything will be fine. I just hope that Rake is not waiting for us somewhere already. That's okay, we'll find him first. Let's take off, Sapphic. Come on, uh, yeah, we can uh, see the house now. That's the Forester's house for sure. Well, looking from the top, the house is all ruined, you guys. I have no idea how this Forester could make a mansion like that inside of it. Oh man, it's shaking heavily already. Man, get it down, Dang get it. the drone down! Dude, oh, oh, it's going down, it's going down! Sapphic, oh, guys. oh no! Damn it, I told you. It's raining and the drone might fall in such conditions. Well, we don't have the drone right now, you know? Oh, man. Where did it fall? We have to go back to look for it. Look, it's getting dark out there. What if the rake eats us? Look, why did we decide to shoot this video in the first place? Once we start, we have to see our adventure through to the end. Let's go find that rake guy. You guys, come on. We got to find the drone somehow. Well, guys, it was up there somewhere up north. Well, listen. We couldn't fly that far, but the wind was blowing it further away from the village. Look at the hat, all these birds are flying around. It's not a good sign. The most important thing is that we don't get caught by Rake. So if you hear any breathing or something, remember right away that it, what I told you, okay? Artem, Artem, listen. We were given these whistles by the forester, right? Yeah. Then we can use them. If any of us needs help, we'll be there right away. All right, let's move on. There's three of us, if anything. Look, there's only one wall left of this house here. Yeah, what a mess, guys. And who stored so much firewood? It looks like that this house was set on fire to get rid of Rake. Everything's falling apart here, yeah, guys. I think this house is abandoned and set on fire so not a single trace what's left afterwards. Just watch your step. The drone could be anywhere, you guys. Here, you guys. Check it out. Let's go down there and see what's in there, shall we? Dude, be careful, Artyom. Some mess piece of wood could fall on your head. It's like I'm playing Uncharted, but I'll do anything for my subscribers, you know. Oh, 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 oh Artyom, be careful. Come on. You guys, I'm seeing something right now. Artyom, did he find the drone? Look, check this out. Out. Oh, wow, that's SCP. Look. Guys, this is an actual SCP fighter jacket. Yeah. It's been lying around for like a couple months already. It's a real SCP jacket, all yeah. black, a real one. You don't see those awesome, you feel yeah, me? It's so cool, maybe we should keep it as a memento. Wait, if there's an SCP fighter jacket left here, then where's the fighter himself? There was also some blood, by the way, you guys. Are you out of your mind? That was SCP fighter's blood. Ray could have just finished him off. The jacket was over there, so maybe Ray was around as well, you know? Hey, Ray! Look, why don't we go back to the car, huh? Oh, man. Although, if we started this adventure, we have to finish it. Let's keep looking for the drone, guys. Oh, uh, where's this drone? There's nothing over here. Guys, it's getting dark. I'm going home now. And you better watch out around here. Don't be out for too long. I also forget to tell you, the whistle not only is helpful, it also scares the rake away. Rake is afraid of loud but noise. Wait. You didn't lose them, right? So you're saying that we can, like, using this whistle, we can scare the rake away from us. Let's say he goes on the attack like like this, you know, and comes at us, yeah? Oh. 
And that'll scare him off. That's about right. Don't forget it. All right, I'm off. Don't be out yeah. for too long. We'll be, uh, we'll be right back. Put the kettle on for us, please. Yeah, we need to find a drone. Maybe, maybe the trap could... in the tree. Cut with some branch, you know, and it's just hanging there. That's what I'll tell you. The forester was right. It's getting dark now. We won't be able to find the drone till tomorrow. We're already too far into the woods. We've got to get out of here somehow. Oh. Huh? What is yeah. that? Do you guys hear that growl? Yeah. It's like the bushes are moving. Someone seems to be running at us. Is that Rake over there? No, no. No, no, no it can't be. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go back. Let's go back. Come on. Come on. You guys to the forward sister's cabin now. Yeah. He's he's watching us. You guys, guys, come on. Oh, where the heck is the entrance to the house? It was a little further. Oh, yeah, further as far as I remember. I can't see anything. It's pitch black, dude. Man, this is unbelievable. For help. I'm calling for help, you guys. I'm calling for help. And I'll scare off that rake. Man, I'd better leave this jacket here. What if it attracts that rake guy? Let's hop in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Arturo. Yeah. Oh, you guys. Oh, man. Uncle Forrester. Uncle Forrester. Where's my uncle? Uh, uh, where is uh, he? Bruno. Is he here? Uh, you guys, the rake is on his way here. And the uncle's nowhere to be found. Uncle Forrester. Just a half-eaten sandwich left here. You guys, we need to blow the whistles. Come on, call for help, Suffolk. Wait a minute. I can't even blow my whistle. Ah! Now the military should appear here any minute and help us out. What? They're about to be here. Ah, uh, Rake, that's Rake over there. You guys are making so much noise. I could hear it and all the and all the. Really, the shelf gave us this whistle, said that if anything were to happen. Uh... My Come friends, my dear friends, things have really gotten out of hand. Things have become much more complicated. I beg it. Get out of here. We are all in grave danger. Go and pack up, please. But hey, you we didn't even catch the rig. But what are we supposed to do now, huh? He just became totally frantic, unpredictable. He's become much more dangerous. I realize that our lives are hanging by a thread now more than ever before. But please, Forrester, give us 20 more minutes, please. There's something we need to do. Gotta practice before we deal with this work, you know. Uh, well, yeah, do you we, know how, how to do that, you guys? I mean, we really gotta practice in order to deal with this rake for good. He's just a coward. He deserted in World War II. And so now me and Bruno here, we're gonna give him a taste of a world war. That's right, guys. You sort it out. I'll take care of the surroundings so that he doesn't come up from behind us. All right. So, Uncle Forrester, can we practice here a little bit? Okay, guys, but only 20 minutes. I can't hold out much longer. More than enough. You guys, wait for me. Wait, damn it, come on. Why are you guys leaving me behind? What happened? Where where are you guys? Why did you leave me? Sapphic and I just noticed a hell of a thing. Look at that. Rick seems to have made it to the house already. Oh, look, he damaged all the warning signs that notify that Rick is running around here. Hey, guys. It's a Rick. Let's get in the car. Let's get in the car. Right now, come on. Let's blow our whistles, man. Oh, boy. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, whistle. Come on. Don't just turn it off. Guys, let's just go to our studio right now and tell Alina everything. I think she knows how to deal with this Drake guy for sure. Look, you guys, yeah, I think she's the only one who can help us. Right here, and watch it. And we're on our way to the studio to tell Alina everything. Don't let Rake eat us. Go, 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 go. Hit the gas station for 